Hello there! Do you have a friend who seems to have their entire closet on point and most of the clothes aren't even new or in stores? Well, you've come to the right place. There's a 50% chance that they have vintage clothing while you're out here stuck with your oversized, unique low shirts and skinny jeans from Zara. Don't get offended if that's you because that was also me for a long period of time. As you can see, just, you know, judge all you want. Anyways, well, today I will be talking about where you can find these vintage items that will make you have a more refined look and make your friends gawk and stare. What did he say? Hey. Oh. What it do boys and girls? How are you? How's life? I am Matt Kismorio, your personal helper and personal nerd towards vintage wear and sneaker stuff. Based on the intro and thumbnail, you already probably know what we will be talking about today. That's why you clicked on this video. But first, if you like anything vintage related or fashion lifestyle related, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for future videos I will be posting weekly. I will be posting a lot of vintage wear and fashion lifestyle that will help us. So so yeah, click the subscribe button down below and come along with me in this journey. Let's get now let's get on to the video. Now, where to find these vintage outfits and vintage clothes that your friends have but you don't? There are a lot of ways to find vintage clothing here in the Philippines na hindi galing sa ukay or sa thrift shops. And mostly, they are on the internet. Lucky for us, the internet is free. First, here's the list. Facebook groups, Facebook marketplace, Instagram shops, carousel, and auction houses, both Instagram and Facebook. So these are the several places in social media that you can find vintage clothing. Now let's single them out. Facebook groups. Personally, it is the successful ako in terms of hunting down clothes that I like. Here are some examples of the groups that I go to. So Vintage Wear Philippines, Vintage Shirts PH, Vintage Connections, Underground Vintage, The Third World, and All Locks PH. Dito nyo ako makita most of the time na nagahunting every day ako nandyan. So if you see me, you didn't. Next up, Facebook Marketplace. Personally, dito ako pinaka less successful compared dun sa Facebook groups kasi sobrang broad kasi nung Facebook marketplace kahit ano pwede mo i-post. Pero pag nag-search ka ng vintage shirts, maraming lalabas and minsan madaming fake or hindi true vintage. Tapos marami pang scam sa Facebook marketplace. But the times na nakakuha ko ng shirt, sobrang steel kasi kaya nga nila pinopost sa Facebook marketplace is that sometimes they probably don't know the price yung, yung seller hindi alam yung price ng hawak nilang item kaya nakaka-steal pero minsan-minsan lang yun but still nakaka-steal Next up, Instagram shops. Dito naman kayo makakita ng random vintage wear na pwede kayo maggawa ng outfit. So, random shirts, random outerwear, jackets, pants, any random vintage wear. Sobrang maganda siya pang forma. Based sa gusto mong style, dito kayo makakahanap talaga ng sobrang dami na mura pa. For example, dito sa random na vintage na pwedeng pang forma, yung balik tanaw na page, I followed them since 2020 kasi doon ako nag-start maging more on sa vintage. Nag-stop na ako sa H&M, sa Uniqlo and stuff na ganun. So, dito sa Balik Tanaw, it's a niche market kung may gusto ka dun sa available nila. It's not for your average person kasi dito parang mga pang-fashionista talaga. Depende sa gusto mong style. Isa pang example is Season Pass. Dito naman yung mga vintage clothing talaga na shirts. For example, I actually bought this shirt sa Season Pass. It's a vintage Star Wars tee. So, more on streetwear yung Season Pass compared sa Balik Tanaw na pang fashionistas na depende sa kung anong gusto mong style. Next up, we have Carousel. My personal favorite shop sa social media or apps. Again, kaya ako siya favorite kasi for me, it's an all-around stop for you guys and gals. You can be creative sa search bar nyo. Kung anong, kung anong gusto nyong i-search. Most of the time, lalabas yung mga sinesearch nyo. So, kaya gusto ko siya eh, kasi mga random talaga. For example, doon ako bumibili rin ng mga Funko Pop. Ganun ka-random yung carousel. Kaya favorite ko siya kasi for a good price, a random item na pwede kong i-display plus mga shirts na mura kasi not general people search on carousel. So, yeah, happy hunting sa carousel. No, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. 
lastly, auction houses. Dito guys, kailangan nyo talaga magsipag and maghirap kasi yung auction houses, papanoorin mo yan per, per set. So, iba-iba yung mga vendors, iba-iba yung nagsiset. So, kailangan nyo talaga sipagin, panoorin. Nakaka-enjoy naman talaga din siya panoorin. Tapos, lalo na kung makuha mo yung shirt na inaantay mo for the longest time, nakakaiba talaga ng feeling yun. Lalo na kung makuha mo siya ng mura and wala pumansin, di ba? So, examples of auction houses, I can name a few. Sa Instagram, Circles, Madonna Vintage Season Pass din, occasionally nagla-live sila. And then, sa Facebook naman, 1007, Advanced Relic, tsaka Timeless Era. <sighs> Sorry, my camera just died. Okay, so what to look for in vintage items? So, you have to look for the date in a shirt or pants if there are any. For this particular bullet though, I'll focus on shirts. For example, this shirt that I'm wearing right now is a Michael Jackson Bad Tour. It has a date here, 1988. Not all shirts have dates like this. They have also a licensing or a copyright tag date in the shirt, either in the left or the right, or the bottom or the top. So anyways, be careful with that. But sometimes it could be misleading. For example, this Rocky Balboa shirt, nakalagay 1976 and 2004 yung copyright and licensing niya. This is because nakalicense yung shirt dun sa Rocky Balboa na movie which released back in 1976. But the shirt was made in 2004. Meron din ako nakitang ganto na Ghostbusters. Nakalagay naman dun 1984 tsaka 2009. Yung susundin mo dun is yung latest date. So I'll show an example of a shirt na merong maliit na copyright tag. I'll pick from there. For example, this Zathura shirt. This movie came out in 2005. And this shirt also has a copyright 2005 if you can see if it's focusing right there a little 2005 right there but yeah that's how you look for the dates on shirts either a big print like this or a small print like the Zathura shirt that I showed next up we have tags vintage tags vintage tags modern tags hard tags printed tags there's a lot a lot of multiple variations to tags I just said tags super many times wait a minute how did this happen we're smarter than this but yeah there's so many variations to it that it deserves its own video so smash the like subscribe i will be making a video about that and i'll be posting it soon because it's really hard to explain in this video alone so i might even do multiple parts on it ganon kadami differences ng tag. so yeah smash the like subscribe for for the future video. Next up, we have stitching. So, for example, sa pants, yung mga Levi's na red line. Ito yung mga hindi talaga makita ng general public. For example, naman sa shirts, single stitch. This is a single stitch shirt. Uh, here is an example of a single stitch shirt and a double stitch shirt. So, the difference between them is literally in the name. Single stitch shirt means there's only one stitch per sleeve. And then, double stitch, there's two stitches. The pictures are here. Anyways, for example, this shirt has single stitched sleeves and neckline. And there's a double stitching on the hem. May mga ganda talagang shirts, so hindi siya altered or anything. Meron din mga shirts na ina-alter. Kasi pag naga alter kayo ng shirts today, Double stitch talaga yung gagawin nila, so I advise not to alter single stitched shirts. But yeah, I might also make a separate video on this kasi magandang i-explain to in detail. So, that's about it sa mga what to look for. So, now let's move on sa mga what to avoid. There are a lot of things to avoid since maraming scammers nga talaga sa Facebook. One of these things are the modern bootlegs that are passed as real. If you'd like me to make a video of this, comment down below. I'll make that video as well. Kasi maraming bootlegs ngayon. Hindi, may mga bootlegs na mga ganda and may mga bootlegs na tinatry niya kopyahin yung mga original. So, I'll talk about that in that video if you guys want me to. Next up, we have reprints. Same as the bootlegs na past as real. Reprints naman, mostly you can see them sa H&M and Cotton On. Kasi mahilig yung gawin ng H&M and Cotton On. So, okay, so let's use my shirt as an example sa reprint. This is a legit tour merch shirt nung 1988 tour ni Michael Jackson. Pero kunwari, gunawa rin ng H&M to. Kinuha niya yung print. May bucket rin kasi to. Kinuha niya yung print, tapos dinagay niya sa bagong shirt. Reprint na yun kasi 2022 na yun instead of 1988. So that's a reprinted shirt. How to know this? Look at the tags. 
most of the tags ngayon is printed. Ang H&M ata may hard tags, especially kapag collaboration. So, makita mo yan kasi lagi nilang ginagawa is mga Metallica, Nirvana, and yung mga band na ganun. Fakes. Avoid fakes. That's the next one on the list. Maraming fakes sa Shopee and Lazada. I'd probably stay off those social media outlets if you're looking for real vintage wear. But if you're just looking for shirts na pambahay or you want, you just want this to wear shirts, pwede naman. But personally, for me, the main reason I'm including this is that marami ring nagbebenta ng fix na price ng real. So, for example, yung shirt 10,000 pesos, pero hindi pala yun yung mismong tour shirt or whatever band shirt or rap tee. This is galing lang palang Shopee. So, it's not worth it for me. It's not practical. Maraming scammers na ganyan. And if bumili ka ng fake, for me again, personally, parang wala kang mahuwang value out of it in the long run. Yeah, maganda siya ngayon, pero pagtagal, madaling masira, uh, wala ng resale value, if ever, you need cash, and so on. Avoid scammers! Dry rotted shirts. Again, I will be making an entire video explaining dry rotted shirts, so like the video, subscribe. Ang dami ko ng ideas, guys. Just trust me on this. Madame kayo maguwang info about vintage wear sa channel nato in the future. All right, that's it for the what to avoid segment. Now I'll give a brief tip, guys and gals. So all of the shirts, pants, and items na pinopost ng people is almost surely negotiable. So wag lang kayo matagot magnegotiate. Pero I think you should stop starting a conversation with HM or LP kasi dati ganun din ako and from personal experience yung mga ganun na sinesendan ko dati hindi na sumasagot. I think they're catching on na uh, yung mga nage HM and LP is nagka-canvas lang or hindi naman talaga bibili. So negotiate right guys and gals. Again, tao rin lang naman yung mga nagbebenta so yung mga binebenta nila gusto syempre nila ng cash in return and you you want the shirt or the sh or whatever you're buying so that's a good trade they get the cash you get the item pero guys wag naman kayo mag-offer ng 1000 pesos and binebenta ng 10000 pesos wag naman ganun negotiate but try to come correct guys please in conclusion ladies and gents vintage clothing is a niche and only a small amount of people will come to understand and appreciate so please manage your expectations kung bibili kayo ng mga vintage wear or, vi or mga shirts na luma kasi marami naman marami rin ako shirts na maraming butas sira na yung neckline nagyayellow na yung white shirt nagiging cream na it, it, it comes with the territory kasi luma naman na talaga yung shirt wala na tayong magagawa dun uh, this, is, this shirt is older than me and most of my shirts are older than me so I think we should just accept the fact na ganun talaga luma na eh you, you can't expect na bago yung makukuha mong or brand new yung makukuha mong vintage shirt tapos mura mo pa makukuha one in a million yung ganun so yeah guys happy hunting. For me, actually, yun yung pinakamasayang part, yung hunt. Kasi, for any collection, mas gusto kong ako yung nag-hunt, or yung friend ko yung nag-hunt for me as well. Kasi, sabay kami yung nagaganto. Tapos, mas bahala na yung gastos. <laughs> Kahit walang pera, bibili pa din, you know. Priorities. But yeah, again, yun yung masaya for me. Kasi, parang, ang saya sa feeling na nakakahanap ka ng gantong shirt for your collection. And yeah, sometimes may bad days na wala talagang magandang shirt na lumalabas or mahal yung uh, yung benta ng mga tao. Pero wala talaga tayong magagawa, ganun yun. So, it's just move on to the next day and the next day and then the next day and then the next day and the next day and the next day. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this increased your understanding for vintage wear. If it did, guys and gals, don't forget to smash the like. Subscribe for future content. You'll love this channel if you love vintage wear and fashion and lifestyle. And also give me a follow on my socials to see some amazing shirts and sneakers. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy hunting. Have a good day. Abigado. What the hell does that mean?